All right, so here we go. We'll have that now. We're 15 minutes away from uh, the Ubisoft's 2016 E3 conference, and uh, I will say last year they had they they started strong, but then they kind of went eh around the end. Kind of got a little bit of a bit of a bore fest, in my opinion. Um, but this year, I think, will be a little different. Um, there are some games this year I, I'm looking a little more forward to. Actually, this year, we can expect no Assassin's Creed, so don't expect Assassin's Creed, at least the game, at least the game series to appear. However, the Assassin's Creed movie, I believe, will have a trailer shown here. That, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna promote that, right? So they... If there's something for Assassin's Creed that's showing up here, it's definitely, definitely a movie trailer. However, not only that, but I if I feel if 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 they all if they had something for Assassin's Creed for like the next game, because since they're taking a year off, maybe I'm thinking maybe they'll have like a a teaser trailer, like so like just a little CGI teaser, but that's probably stretching it. I they probably won't have that. But anyways, I'm gonna look here at my. Uh, predictions list here for Ubisoft so let's talk about the games that are already known and what I'm expecting will be here pretty which is pretty uh well known what will be here um so kicking things off is probably their big gun that they leaked or well got leaked but got announced a few days ago and that was Watch Dogs 2 and that's a game I've played on the channel uh, back in season three or back if you don't count my seasons um back in 2013 when it came out so um, yeah, we played the original Watch Dogs, um, the idea, I like the idea of, uh, Watch Dogs, but I feel there was a lot that was, that could have been done better in Watch Dogs 1, and, uh, it looks like from, like, the early, uh, little, uh, presentation that they showed of Watch Dogs 2, that, um, there is a lot more expanded on on the idea, which is a great, which is great to see, um, because I feel it was very lacking on some things, and also, it was too easy, in my opinion, to get away from the cops. All you had to do in the first game was grab a boat and you're safe. Like the cops for some reason did not know how to use a boat. <laughs> so well, maybe this game they'll have boats, but if they don't have boats I'll be like god dang why does nobody have boats in this game? <laughs> but uh, I, I'm like, I, but that's, that's not really the big focus. The main focus is about the whole hacking mechanic and all that. And uh, like I said, it looks like there's so many more ways you can do like do a mission now like they give you like plenty of um ways to play the game which is a great idea um and i felt in the first Watch Dogs game they were restricting you to like one type of play style and that was basically the stealth that you couldn't just go and run and gun and you had to stealth it there was no way you could survive but it looks like in this one they're allowing you to be either be loud and heavy with your weapons you can go in there stealthy or you can use hacking to your advantage to uh get around so it's a great, great that they're actually doing that instead of uh, having a having one playstyle, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the demo since they're planning to do a demo for uh, this this show. So that's good to see. Um, another one, probably one that I am most looking forward to out of all the games that they have, and that is South Park: The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> Yes, that is the name. <laughs> South Park The Fractured Butthole. Basically, it is the sequel to one of the playthroughs of the year here, which was South Park The Stick of Truth, and it's basically the South Park RPG, uh, this time now being superheroes now. So yeah, now they're playing as superheroes, and I like the idea already because the superheroes uh, that the South Park characters do are, are uh, so funny. They have some of the funniest episodes. And making a whole game based around that is just great. I like the idea. There's so much possibilities they can do with that game. And uh, I really like the first one, and I'm looking for more and hoping for even better uh, upgrades from the uh, the, uh, the the next the next game. <laughs> South Park Fractured Butt. No, it's called The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> That's what it is. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I hope we get a, uh, a trailer. I don't know if we'll get a demo. If we do get a demo, that'll be cool, but I, th I hope we for sure we get a trailer. And uh, maybe I'm predicting at least in a release date, either maybe this fall, or maybe uh, um, next year. 
Um, because they did say it's not going to take as long as uh, Stick of Truth did, so that's a good thing. Uh, the next game is uh, For Honor. Um, I really like the sword mechanics in this game. Like, I, when I saw this game at E3 uh, last year at the Ubisoft's conference, I was like, holy damn! That looks fun. Just because of how the sword uh, mechanic looks. It looks like it has weight to it, and it kind of reminds me of how Skyward Swords uh, uh, sword mechanics are, besides the whole motion to it. So, having weight on your weapon definitely plays a big part on some games like that, and I like that. So, I'm looking forward to see something, whatever that is, and they're supposed to have Vikings. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, and the other game is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, and... Not sure if I'm bought in on this game yet. No, no, I don't know about this one yet. So I don't really have much to say about this game. Um, as for predictions, um, I'm thinking we're gonna get some... A, a new indie game from Ubisoft will be announced. Um, and as I show here, um, a Just Dance game will be announced. <laughs> Just Dance 2016 will be, will be announced. Um, we'll also, maybe, I'm thinking we'll get a new IP, this will be the big, uh, the big surprise of the, uh, the whole show, because that's what Ubisoft seems to do, they seem to announce a new IP, or new, or revitalize a franchise they haven't touched upon in a while. Um, I also, and that could be either one of these two things, I think it could either be a new Rayman game, which would be nice, that'd be cool. Or, Beyond Good and Evil 2. That has been one game that Ubisoft's been not been touching on for years. They announced it, and haven't done anything about it since then. And uh, I think a lot of people will actually freak the hell out if that happens. So we'll have to see if that does happen. But I will highly doubt it does, but if it does, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, that, oh, and I think they'll also touch upon maybe some, I didn't put this on before, but they'll probably touch upon that, um, that Division DLC, because the Division is doing pretty good for them, so yeah. And, like I said, they'll probably showcase some Assassin's Creed movie trailer, and maybe a teaser to the, to AC5? But who knows. <laughs> but yeah, those are my predictions, my bold-ass predictions for Ubisoft and their conference this year. Let's see if they can, uh do a better job this year than they did last year for their conference. Have a, have that strong start, but keep it uh, present. Don't put too much time on on Just Dance, because, yeah, it's not going to help you if you're going to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> please don't uh, have your conference just, what the hell's going on with the screen here? But yeah, please don't have, um, please don't have your conference just have a, hell of a lot of Just Dance, because ha, sh just announce you're making it, trailer, move on. Don't do not do a whole demo, or like a uh, a uh, performance or whatever. Just just move on. Just move on. Microsoft used to do it, but they've learned it's 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 here for the game, so just move on. <laughs> so, yeah. But I guess technically Just Dance is a game. It's for those, it's catered to those people, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, anyway, yeah. Definitely, they'll probably spend a lot of time on Watch Dogs too, because that's basically their, one of their big fall releases this year. So that's basically their big game. Since there's no Assassin's Creed, that is basically their game. But yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyway, the graphics for this conference are terrible. So glitchy. I know. They, they, they downscaled it. <laughs> they downscaled the graphics for their own conference. That's sad. I also wonder who the host is. It's probably Alicia Tyler. They seem to have a thing going with her. People seem to like her. Some people don't. But I think they like her, so they'll probably keep her as the uh, the main host. Unless they announce that she's not appearing, but who knows. I haven't really followed that. The return of hashtag girlwood, yeah, ugh, girlwood. <laughs> well, hashtag TGBD. Guest starring Bethesda Lady. Oh my god, the Bethesda Lady's here. Jesus, she's, she'll take over E3 2016. Then she'll become the, the conference lady. Well, technically, I'm calling her the, um, the, um, 
Elder Scrolls Online lady because she was freaking out about Elder Scrolls Online, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you what she was like, whoa! <laughs> Whatever that guy was talking about, but uh, Elder Scrolls Online, like my god. <laughs> Alright, so I think we'll uh, start up here, so I'm going to head into the stream room, so I'll allow you guys who want to watch uh, the Ubisoft conference with me live, you can join in the stream room right now. Showtime. Actually, I'm also going to tweet out that, uh, or actually post in Discord that I'm doing the Ubisoft conference too, so let me just do that. Uh, in about five minutes, I'm going to have to go AFK to turn my alarm clock off. Alright. Because that's going to happen. <laughs> so if you hear beeping, that's why. Alright then. They're still doing the PC gaming show on twitch.tv slash twitch. It, aren't they supposed to go right to Ubisoft when it's over? You would think. Well, it's Twitch. What do you expect? <sighs> yeah, fucking hell. You had one job, Twitch. Couldn't even do that. They gotta, have, they gotta appeal to all the, uh, <laughs> the Gaben, the, the, the Gaben, Gaben lovers. Oh my God. Because uh... <laughs> mm. PC is master race. Gotta remember that. Ubi. Well, it depends on how strong your PC is. That's true. You got a pretty boss PC. Let's not let's not beat around the bush here. No, I don't. No, I'm I. Me, I uh, 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 I, it's it's okay. I, it could be better. I think my graphics card could be a little better. Andy's PC could eat ours alive. No, 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 no. Did he see us? So. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> How much do you want to bet you'd be most like? Well, they have one shooter, I know that. Most of their games will have guns in it, so... I'm expecting yeah. that. Oh fuck, I forgot about the rabbits. Oh, the uni- it, it was, was that the- it, Was that Rabbit? the beautiful unicorn? <laughs> that was the beautiful unicorn. <laughs> I also saw something that looked a lot like Rayman. Yeah. There's Rayman. They got Rayman. Suddenly, all of my interest. That, yeah, that brings, that bring, that brings me back to that highlight. That brings me back to that one highlight. It's a beautiful unicorn! <laughs> <laughs> and I got killed. Yeah, <laughs> and so forth. That, that was in the top 10 of that of that season, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was up there. We've got interviews, we've got a booth tour, we've got master classes with a deep dive on all the games that you're going to see here at the conference. That's a lot, man. That's a lot, yeah. yeah. And his PC confirmed backpack. So like Banjo's backpack. Do I have a Kazooie in here? Are you kidding me? Come on. Do I? Don't forget this South Park. My today. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I predicted South Park will appear here. Best free pre show I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, please keep the aisles free during the presentation. Like we are doing right now. Yeah, exactly. Follow our lead. But you're breaking the rules already. You're not putting the, making the aisles free. You're in the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> you're breaking the rules already. You're one to talk. You're watching on Ubisoft and not Twitch. Well. Shush. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I can do what I want. Plus, 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 technically, what I'll move this. Plus, plus, what is that, what does that say at the bottom there? Oh, it says Twitch. Oh, um, <laughs> they, he went out to the queue outside and picked some random guy and brought him in and put him in the chair. Hey, you, sir! Uh, uh, me? Do you like video games? Oh, no, no, not really. Uh, you can come in anyway, come watch! Uh, okay. <laughs> I do believe they kidnapped this guy to go and watch their conference. <laughs> Not really, though. I this is do believe the guy sitting next to Chad. Oh, oh, they're, someone he works for a team. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna get in their way. Yeah. Yeah, I think I met her once. 
face. She's pretty cool. Yeah, she's okay. <laughs> yeah, she's okay. I have no, I have no opinion on her. She's okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Get away. Get that mic away from me. <laughs> You're scaring me. I'll be back. This is Ubisoft. Let's do that shit. Oh boy, here we go. What are we kicking things off with? Eh, whatever it is, it's probably gonna be good. Hopefully. <laughs> so Fingers be... crossed, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be tweeting this out. I'll be hosting this as well. So. Oh, <laughs> this... oh, I see. Yeah. They're commemorating 30 years. Oh, it's their anniversary, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Today. Years. Yeah. This is their 30th anniversary this year. Wow. Holy crap, they're all... Yeah. What the heck? Mm. What's this now? Oh, great, I closed out the screen. Oh, <laughs> oh god damn it, I said none of this! I said, I said none of this! He didn't listen to me! <laughs> no! <laughs> but it's clean though. Okay, okay it's clean though. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine, okay. I'll allow it. What the freak is in the background? Yes, but you can't see my feet. They are moving. <laughs> Foot cam. There is such thing as chair dancing. I've seen it done. But you you don't want to do that on stream because it makes it look um loot. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, there's a is that the Toys R Us giraffe? There's a panda. Is that Simba wearing shades? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, that's a meme right there. That guy's a meme. That guy's becoming a meme. That's gonna be a meme. That's gonna be a meme. What the lion? Yeah, the lion. Yeah, the Toys R Us giraffe. Yeah, the. If you've ever played a Just Dance game, they are known for their very outlandish back. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Sim Simba cameo appearance, yeah. <laughs> I mean, hell, I you, I mean, hell, you watched Ratchet so play Just Dance and see how good. Is that the crazy. I did. No, is that the king dude from freaking? Uh... What the fuck? I... Okay, never mind. There's the meme right there. That guy in the disco hat. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick is the disco hat? I don't... That butterfly okay. guitar. Yeah. This whole That's thing's like, a meme. meme yeah, okay, yeah. I, I, never mind. This is a whole... This whole thing is a meme. Would he stop making fun of The whole thing is gonna be a meme. Oh, you should tell her. Hi there. <laughs> we should go just meme 2017. Just <laughs> meme? Yes, yes, yes. I want... Oh God, can, awesome. can you do a mock-up of that? I could. You guys are awesome. Totally you do guys it. Were Just put all sorts of different awesome. yeah, meme tastic things and, on uh, my there. Mom those boots, by the way, she wants them back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know when you see a dancing crowd well, at least she's and right. a baby bird with a paper awesome. collar, yep. that you could only be at the Ubisoft <laughs> E3 press People conference. People are asking if they're high over on Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. And there she is with that uh, girl wood. Can you guys bring it up behind for a second? Just gather, yeah. uh, get behind <laughs> me here. Oh, yeah, it does say girl wood. Yeah, it does. does God it dang really? it. Take yeah. a moment to do yes. something. Yes, it that's does. Gonna oh feel a little, uh, that's her thing. And potentially even uncomfortable yeah, for some of you. Terrible. There's no smooth or easy way to do this, but. I can't get over this freaking giraffe. He's wearing a monocle. Everyone here. Yeah. Like, he needs a top hat now. Yeah, he needs a top hat. This weekend's tragedy in Orlando. Lando, have any of you guys ever actually seen in Paris, gameplay in France, other than from the press the conferences States and around of the just world dance? Are with no. You. And now, okay. So, you need to see what is the yeah. gameplay of Just Dance. Dance. You know what it is. Yeah, you don't need I to see it. Te technically, technically, they did show it. It was in the. I was on the screen. With a human Me? giraffe on my People right and in costumes. A candy cane so on my left. essentially, the whole entire stage show that just hard happened right turn was a joke. Get into the fun was stuff. Ubisoft for coming on, taking fun of them. Dance away. Oh, 
Okay, good. In the game. At, at, at least it's got done and out of the way with. That's fine, fine. If they open it like that, that's fine then. Fine. Just Dance has always been at the forefront of innovation, bringing its experience to new devices and also introducing the world to the first dance on demand streaming service with Just Dance Unlimited. And today, Ubisoft is pleased to announce that Just Dance 2017 will be coming to all video game platforms and PC. Ooh, they announced an NX game. Nintendo NX. Uh oh, NX next can year. Play. <laughs> uh, yes. What? I thought the NX wasn't being here at E3. You have a lion what? Singing at you out of your television screen. They announced an the NX game. Welcome to everybody lucky enough to be sitting here Nintendo's in this theater probably gonna and be even luckier enough to be the, yeah. around the globe because you are <laughs> oh, getting a call from Reggie you now. Didn't shower today. Yeah, in before in I before. I have my Isha Tyler some yeah. probably didn't shower. There's no. a huge I'm, I'm still calling Isha Tyler and I'm standing in the theater and I'm standing in the at the tree house tomorrow. No, it won't. Don't worry. I don't Don't what I think will happen, they'll announce like the the day they're it's presenting the whole console or whatever but other than that that'll be all they touch upon it and the smiles on everyone's faces i don't think they'll even do that next year time. as in i think they will and next is, is coming out probably sometime after e3 next year it's my fifth time hosting this yeah, maybe later yes I say right they now, March of next year. Yeah, I've seen but I think that might get delayed. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. yeah. yeah the, the giraffe is just yeah. memeing That's on right, my friends. Would. No, don't say it like that. Step a drop. Then she went, would. I was like, no, don't. Stop. Oh my god. That I receive. Hashtag step a drop. It's not the money. I'll tell you that. What? Hashtag Dapper Draft? Is that what it's going? <laughs> no! Dapper Draft. Well, I... You know what? I, I could sit... I could see someone like Lethal Frag being happy with that. You're paying me in red wine and sarcasm, you guys. No, I come back every year because I love games. I play these games, <laughs> I adore them, and Red I love the excitement that comes with revealing new games to the world. So every basically, day, every year, like, this, you're like doing this drunk a right store. now. A really long yeah. That could explain a lot. ...kid in a candy store. And speaking of excitement... No, nothing against her. I don't mind her as a host. Yeah, give it up for you, babe. No, it's not Mr. Oh, Caffeine. Geez. Mm. Hey, I happen to like Mr. Cat. <laughs> Everyone else here in Hollywood, it has an Here we go, guys. We're going to show this game. <laughs> <laughs> that was the year they announced Three Men Origins as well. That's true, they did. That was an awesome <laughs> game. I should probably fun, play it again. Sometimes a little crazy. So, I enough do have to say, fast forward what right really now and get makes straight the Ubisoft to press the games, conference all right? now, really good. You may is remember Aisha Taylor's stage presence compared to when it blew the your devs from mind. all the other ones. This is very true. Right. Home it playing good. a drinking game, yes, an F bomb in the first five because minutes she's of the show. She's Ladies more of an outsider to go three con more, wildlands. More of of the game gamer personified, for, more or less, and not. Well, she yeah, said she said a drinking game, so I I might as well. Oh, what's the drinking game? Every, anytime an f bomb is blasted, <laughs> she said whenever the f bomb is spewed. Well, shall we put I a counter on there? Choice. I think so. Yeah. We'll put a we'll put a we'll put a counter. Or oppose me. Put it as fucks given. <laughs> If you follow me, this is Ghost Recon. It looks like. Place. Looks like it, yeah, yeah. You shelter, that's be Ghost medicine, Recon. and jobs. I wanted to. I wanted she to maybe say Far Cry Five. No, this is. The, no, that. this is. Um, this is. They said this is the game that they ended last year. I think that's the Splinter Cell game. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it's power. Ghost Recon. I make you rich, but most of all, I let you rule oh. my king. Because the wild lens is the bad drugs. For those that oppose me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's like. Yeah. I have only one thing to offer. A promise. To take everything you love and destroy it in front of your eyes. Well 
Splinter Cell? Because it yep. sure don't look like yep, it. Yep, this is Splinter Cell. Oh, no, 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 not Splinter Cell. This is, um, Ghost... This is, um, Ghost Recon, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Recon? Yeah. Oh my yep. gosh, that's yep. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, this is this is Ghost Recon. Yeah. yeah. I know it doesn't look like it, that but was yeah. Like Fifty cal, wasn't it? You, yeah, but you said it was. Did I did I say Splinter Cell? This, no, that's my mistake. Yeah, then. Yes, sorry. I meant I meant Ghost Recon. Here's someone to talk about Ghost Recon. In Bolivia, the coca leaf yep. is core to the culture. It's found in every gas station, every hospital, and every town square. And they use it for a variety of things, like treating nausea and altitude sickness to a refreshing energy drink. But it can also be used to make cocaine. So we asked, what if? What if? A Mexican drug cartel moved in, took over the entire country, seized all of those coca resources to become the number one producer of cocaine on the planet, effectively turning Bolivia into a narco state. This is the world of Ghost Recon Wildlands. And you, well, you're the ghosts. The elite spec ops drop deep behind enemy lines to create chaos and disrupt the alliance between a corrupt local government and the Santa Blanca cartel, ultimately going after their leader, the vicious El Sueño. Hi, everybody. My name is Dominic Butler. I'm the lead game designer for Ghost Recon Wildlands. <laughs> a Ghost Recon Wildlands is the very first military shooter set in a massive, dangerous open world that you can play entirely in solo or in up to four-player co-op with beautiful environments set across a variety of different ecosystems that will challenge and influence your gameplay at every step of the way. All of them. this takes place that would be in us. the largest action-adventure um, open yeah, world Ubisoft has ever done. I like how we're just all now, trans- the gameplay we're about to show you <laughs> right? Like, well, I'm just trying to listen to what he's saying. Hello? His name is, is El this thing on? <laughs> he's known as That's this definitely it, it might it might have been it might have been us because I heard it again. Now the ghosts know that their mm -hmm. target is in a large Santa Blanca camp somewhere in the San Mateo <laughs> province, but they don't know where yet exactly. And because Ghost Recon Wildlands gives you the total freedom of choice to do what you want, when you want. We put the power back in the player's hands to achieve their objectives their way. In this case, the ghosts know that their target has some vital intel. They want to take him alive, so they've opted for a tactical extraction. Let's go get that mm. intel. Demo? Yep. Yep. Every time... Demo. Like, I... <clears throat> Yeah, it seems the interesting, but it's probably not my kind of game. House. Yeah. Until it's upstairs. I'm sure, yeah, I'm make sure you, you'd you be up for it if nah, you ever started this. doing the Ghost okay, Recon okay, series. Right, let's try to keep it stealthy. That's the kind of... Yeah, <laughs> like... If really I knew... Did. I was kind of burned on getting the Division. Like, when that I came out. Like... I bought it, oh, gotcha. what was it, like, suspicions, got the season pass with it, and it's just, like, my friend stopped playing. I'm in. And then I stopped playing. Oh, shit, Now the fine. game's kind of crap. Yep, got it. It's just lost upstairs. 92% right, of its got. player base in the last two months alone. Okay, I got the intel on El Pozo. Ooh, like, here's an interesting tweet. In I think Ubisoft is trying to sell us cocaine. <laughs> here's another interesting tweet. Hey, be, hey, bro, your beer is fumbling the mic. So, yeah, it, the mic issues are them. It's, it. it's all over Twitter for now. Yeah. I figured it was them. Yeah. Like, this 
seeing as like one of the things I do as my job is I edit videos. The camp should be near this so place. like I notice this Alpha kind Zulu of stuff, and well I notice bad at editing in TV shows oh, damn, this was a be lot. Tough. Yeah, we could definitely it gets use some backup on this really one. annoying when you're yeah. watching a TV show and it just like jump cuts hey, you guys need a the different scenes right and you like you can We're tell or you have blatantly obvious ADR. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. You're on our way. Are but there's also the fact that I'm a We're fractionist. approaching the camp from the west. We'll meet you there. <laughs> Copy that. That almost looks like a bad sheep from or well, the Warhawk excuse me from uh, Halo. This is the M12 LRV. I like to call it the Warthog. Why war? Also, since they were talking about cocaine earlier, I had to pl I had to play oh, this. Damn, looks like a whole lot of trouble. Hold on, just give me give me a second. Take a look. I gotta replay that again. Get him. Roger that. One less to worry about. Okay, we're splitting up. Weaver, can you get to a good sniper position on the south side of the camp? <laughs> oh, I was, I was expecting Dr. Roxo there. <laughs> no, but it's supposed to be Coco, but he went Newt Newt. <laughs> Would you be interested in doing some stuff for the video I'm doing? Wait for my signal. Got it. Now. Tango down. Let's move. Love how they're trying to be all stealthy. I hear something yeah, I know. You don't need to talk so softly right. over the mic. Ready? Ready? Go. Not like they can hear you in the game. Good job. <laughs> I'm gonna deploy the drone and see what's up ahead. But yes, if you play with your actual actual friends, it will not be like that. Yeah. It'll be like it'll be like Bill. It'll, it'll be, be like it'll be like Tim. Why did you run out in, in the middle? You're gonna get killed. Oh my God, Tim. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Maybe you'll have a recreation. Oh man, there are. Maybe you'll have a recreation. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing me? You shot church, you team killing fucktard. I just hope the, this game doesn't go the way okay, I that got him. the division Red gloves, did. Gas mask. He's got guards with him. We're gonna make it a noise online game. That guy has no oh, arms. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> going to be dissolved in acid soon, so uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. Gotcha. Well, he's probably dead anyway. It's not like it mattered anyways. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He's like... Man, I think he was dissolving somebody. Oil up like some cocaine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the first Twitter. Being dissolved in acid. These guys are trying so... They're, on, they're try hard. They're trying so hard to be professional about it. It's like, all right, all right. that is not how... Alright, alright. Alright, um... Bubblegum41, can you go get... I'll do it, you again. squub. Oh, uh, what? Did this little kid call Only me a scrub? Yeah, get fucked on, noob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. That's a more realistic conversation. No, no. You, there. I don't think no, you're no, doing no. it quite what right. The fuck yet. Yet? I. I mean, I mean, I played WWE on my chat. I, I mean, a, you were missing a few death threats. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna hear the one guy banging popping around. True. I mean, I play. I'm, I, I mean, I played WWE on my channel one time. I played WWE one on my channel one time, and there was this little case like, "Yo, motherfucker, you wanna play some matches with me?" I was like, "Uh, no." And I was like, "I hey, left." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, motherfucker, you wanna play a match with me? <laughs> oh, I really wish I highlighted that because holy shit, that was so funny. I don't, yeah, I, I don't remember which archive it was, though, that's the thing. Yeah. Is it, would it be WWE 12, 13, or what? Uh, it, I don't know, it would, it would have been one of the two, I don't remember. Holy crap, it was so funny. I mean, it's been, it's been literally forever since you played WWE on the channel, anyway. Yeah, it has been. I'm on my way. I don't imagine a time when I was a long time ago I played West Virginia 2 and I was in a lobby where the post left and there was just this kid in there who kept Stop saying, hey, start the game, start the game. <laughs> and eventually everybody I, just left. <laughs> where are you okay, I have to make a point about this right now. Is 
you know your it's gameplay like, trailer is down. too long yeah, when your audience car, when your engine. audience retention has gone away this fast. Yeah, we're already talking about like just <laughs> talking about <laughs> how unrealistic the car the talking is. The reason we're discussing this is because of the freaking with how yeah, cool they are. They're talking so calmly about Yeah man, I'm like in the CIA, let's do this, bro. That is not, that is not how a real gaming thing would go, I assure yeah, I got you. Yeah. Okay, I'm to raise a lobby now. Right? I mean, some people. I, I, well, I I mean, there are some people that would be like that, but it wouldn't be totally like that. That was like, can you go do that? And it's like, okay. Okay, it's connected to the server. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen I've the channels where they're playing Splatoon and hell when we've had team races here on for Mario Kart, where there is a lot of communication there. Yeah, but it, it's never. It's not like this though. Clear, clear. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's I, not like this though. That's the thing. I play a lot of MMOs and stuff, and there are people who take their games this seriously. How'd you get, buddy? They're very few and far between, but there are those people. We got cartel reinforcements incoming. Take a sip of my juice box. Did he just smash his head in the helicopter? <laughs> what a jerk. Is this trailer would also have to be completely scripted for it to yeah. go Man. towards and haze as well. Clear, because there's... Nice that was a tough mission. Even if it is a... Oh, that was a tough work, mission. Yeah, you know, bro. It was, it was the, really tough, man. Your NPCs can turn around at the wrong point. Yeah, bro. It was really tough. And set up alarms. Right? To ruin your whole entire setup. Slam <laughs> dunk! <dog. like, laughs> yeah. I, I think I'm going to take off the counter because they're not swearing. <laughs> Oh wait, just give it a moment. What could be said? Oh my gosh, you're so much, I'm gonna hack in your account, you noob. Come by the booth. We've got four oh my god, I hate you so yeah, much. Can you hack in your account, you noob? <laughs> Ghost Recon Wildlands will be released on March 7th, 2017. Alright. Thank you. Have a great show. That's a net game for next year. So, I'd imagine after you're done for today, you're going to see about get, getting caught up about what's going, what's gone by with Easy Allies and their reactions. Yeah, for sure. I want to see their, uh, their Bethesda one, because... I want to see their Bethesda reaction. Oh, oh, don't give us numbers like this, especially after a sh you know, shooting on Sunday. I know what this is, so I know what this is. Watch yeah. This. Is it Watch Dogs 2? Oh, it might be actually. Like it. Oh yeah, I can tell. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Question is, is it a new protagonist? Yes, yes, it is. Most likely, yes. Yes, it is. They have, they have said that it is. Means they, pr they're probably setting it in a new location, like. Maybe yeah. It, it, um. Or Los oh Angeles. wait, what? Wait. Hold on a minute right here. That's not Watch Dogs. That's fucking South Park. Fucking Swerve! Fucking fractured butthole, man. Yeah. What the shit? I I actually thought it was Watch Dogs for a minute. But all that chaos, all that scary But that'll happen eventually. What a twist is up to the occasion. And who better to defend the town of South Park and really Colorado and really the world than superheroes or kids in superhero costumes? So, like the I'm team, I need to have sorry. Friends, please welcome Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Okay. Oh boy, here comes okay. Trey. Know what who is? Matt and Trey are here. This better make up for how oh. shitty last season South Park was. <laughs> I can already hear you oh, look, reaching oh, for your couch. Yeah, yeah, for your sweet. wallet to go get your credit card and buy the collector's edition of this cuz you know there will be one. You want those figures. <laughs> so, uh, let's talk about the story. Everybody wants to know what's going on in the fractured bubble. Don't know yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it really it, 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 uh, it, it picks up where the stick of truth like I don't know yet. Sounds like South Park. You know that and that you're the new Where they kid literally come up with an episode within a and, week. Um, so the, the, the game's really about who you are 
and you kind of define who you are in South Park. But whereas the sickest truth was like a fantasy send up, and you end up being the king in the end. And um, the, it's like the next day in South Park, and the kids are sort of switched up, and now they're playing superheroes. Right. Right. Yeah. And so we we actually have a backstory that the kids have been playing superhero, but they've been, they got into a big fight about something, so they're in the Civil War yeah. part of their... Uh, what? Fact, they're, they're, going the sil- they're going Civil War? Story? Oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> that's going to be... That's going to be good. Well, to be fair, wasn't it like that? Uh, kind of, yeah. You you had to pick between Kyle or Cartman. Kyle or Cartman, yeah, yeah. Because now you have game, to choose between this game they've Cartman or, games, or so you're Kenny. Being a douchebag again. Yeah. Right. So let, let's see how that douchebag was able to make it into Kenan Fence. Real gameplay. Oh, shit. Oh, There's game gameplay. Who's that this ordinary citizen? Oh, that's two. Uh, listen, bro. We are all Please, and where's Midbury? So you can't hang out with us. Please do us all a solid and fuck up. Oh, that's three. <laughs> so... Yeah, remember how I mentioned before? Hey, hey, hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good share. I'm gonna blow up the fucking galaxy! Stupid bitch! Look, you're having a different hour. Freedom pals are adding people to their franchise. We should be adding people to ours. This dork, like wearing a little crown? Does this look like a superhero to you? <sighs> all right, all right, have a seat, douchebag. <laughs> not there. Do it, do it, do not it! Th- not there. Aww. Oh my god, this is. Oh my god, this is golden. <laughs> no, not there. You can't. You have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Instagram. Do you have a Instagram? Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you're not even on Instagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. I think I do. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Oh, that's cool. I, I, iconic ass cannon, what? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there are multiple character classes so beyond what you, you, you know, UI, beyond what was lit there. Yeah. Yeah. You can choose from you mix and match powers from those classes and really make a superhero uh. all your own. But what else is new in the fractured but whole? Um, well, I mean that's obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean it's definitely more of a. There's definitely more of defining your character and kind of in superhero movies there's always like the intense emotional center that like motivates why you have to go out and fight crime. So it's a much, as you can already tell, it's a much more spiritual, it's a more spiritual, it's more spiritual it's game. It's right. much more about... I wouldn't be shocked if, there's, you know, if there's this season didn't have another build-up to the game. Where, um, yeah. Like, um, mm-hmm. uh, there's, a, there's a gay fish yeah, a few years Park, ago. And he loves fish sticks. And um, <laughs> the gay fish actually um, <laughs> wants you to help him get his mother into heaven. The gay fish is in this... Uh, oh, so my God. <laughs> Oh, Kanye West is gonna be. Kanye West is gonna be in this game. Oh my god. You're all acting like this shit's regular. <laughs> shit is hard. This shit is hard. It was. Hard. <laughs> well, if Lemmy Winks was in the last game, why wouldn't Kanye. this be in this in the new game? You didn't see the Kanye thing. That won't make it. <laughs> so, okay. uh, so <laughs> also we we you know, Cartman's the one who's kind of in charge of telling each superhero what their tragic backstory was that right. made them made them a superhero and so oh that should be good right. oh here we go oh gosh who let this guy join us anyway go easy on him you guys oh gosh here we go night, it's time they learned your tragic backstory <laughs> you lay awake that night like so many other nights you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids you walked to the mirror you looked in the mirror and you felt alone and that's when it happened a loud noise you swore you could hear your mother calling for help Oh god. <laughs> I can tell where this is going. Oh, that's playable too. You left your room. 
Seriously, dude, just walk through the door already. <laughs> 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 Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he do <laughs> Oh my gosh. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fuck our moms. <laughs> oh, right. So does that mean your dad <laughs> fucked your mom, Cal? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom! That's why I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's cause... <laughs> Maybe it's cause he's gonna get it because he doesn't... Take a drink, guys. I, I've already put like nine. I think I got up to nine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, don't buffer. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. I do like how that... Uh, you didn't go like... That uh, how so um I uh, pretty brutal. We've uh, how Carbon was narrating you to go, <clears> and he, he directly we lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, combat system went against it. And <laughs> Carbon got superior, antagonized by it. So yeah. Yeah. Center. You yeah. left so your room. Yeah, actually, pretty Ding. cool because we. Just, just fucking leave your room already, goddammit. We, we come down and talk about what this game is. We, we go back to my house afterwards and play board games from a big board gamer. So we play all like our favorite board games and tabletop miniature type of games and figure out how to, you know, we didn't, we still wanted to keep some of the turn-based stuff because it, it really makes it easier to do story. And so, um, so we just tried to do a big 4.0 version of Stick of Truth. Right. I mean, it, all of those sessions, it's a lot of very real clarity that comes from that. So what we ended up putting in is about combat space and time. So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about space. You're not restricted to a location anymore. Now you can move to get into tactical position. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. Oh, it's tactical. Oh, I thought they were going to they're going to explore a butthole completely. You can There's push and space in there. So it's it's still an RPG, but it's, it you have you have free range of moving around. You get a little extra damage. Mm. You can oh, use nice. tactics to it. Oh, you get to fight Randy. Yeah. <laughs> you can use some of your powers like tweak here Drunk to get over Randy obstacles. anyway. Yeah. So obviously you And you get to fight hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yo. <laughs> okay. Then try attack says hello. So Kyle's OP. The first game your farts were legendary. Now your farts are so powerful that you can use them to rip the fabric of time itself. No way. <laughs> I like the um uh, retool UI. So use that to rearrange the turn order. Mastering space and time makes a huge difference. And even it, it even gives you an idea of the turn order. Yep. And you can also have uh, more than one buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he punching him? Oh. I, th I thought he was... Okay, that's not what I thought. That was pretty good, though. That was pretty good. Yeah, but for, from one one thing I noticed, though, is that um you can have multiple buddies out now. <laughs> nah, that's a good thing, actually. Yeah. That, that's one thing I kind of wish they added was more people on your team. It's obviously been an amazing game for us to work on. And I, I hope they let you explore the mall the since they, they cut, done. since they didn't let you like, uh, during um, Stick of Truth. Fans before we yeah. Go. Anyone what? who buys the Fractured Butt Hole will get the Stick of Truth for PS4 oh, and Xbox One that's cool. and Steam for free. If you pre I already have it, though, but still. That's cool. I can have a, something. I can have something I can give away. You can start playing Stick of Truth right away. So check out our website and for information and about our participating retailers. Is there a release date? Yeah, cool. That was great. You don't. Well, they said if you pre-order it now, then if you want to see it. Sort of shows what the boys are fighting about. Oh, new trailer. People want to know the release date probably too. Oh yeah. Oh, don't tell me it's coming out this fall. I'm putting my money on. Hold on. Hold on. Might be. Your body can't handle this. Oh, December six. Oh shit! <laughs> Season six is looking hype. 
<laughs> Why did we Trailer. Life? Just seven for six. We dedicate our lives to fighting crime for one reason: to make a billion dollars on a superhero franchise. <laughs> now let's go through the plan one more time. First, we start <laughs> with the Coon movie. Then we do the Super Craig movie. Then Super Craig and Coon will join. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh talking, God. they're making fun of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That is incorrect. There's nothing wrong with that was Blade movie to start a franchise. before oh, they decided to okay. do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> J.J. Abrams. He gets two movies in phase one. Guys, we have to just go with this plan. We don't even have one movie yet. How did it get to this? How did we grow so far apart? You go with the Oh, Wendy's the playable character? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want Civil War? Is that what you want? Yeah, dude, it's Civil War. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, Civil War, fuck you. I thought Civil War wasn't supposed to happen until Phase 3. Shut up, Super Craig. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. But you leave me no choice. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Not PC principal. <laughs> oh Jesus. At least know what PC principal is. Yeah, I know that. I've seen the first few episodes of that season. Probably fell asleep on your Oh no. This, scene, this game's gonna. Superheroes this game's story Park, is gonna suck because of that. Of I hated him. I wanted him to go away. <laughs> Thanks to all of you out there, the division broke records when it launched earlier this year, and today more than ten uh, million. Uh, of I'm looking forward to that. Holy spent shit! Up to three hours a day hitting a steady supply of high-value targets and trying to get your hands on the best loot in the dark zone. Well, here to tell us more about what's new in the division, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Julian Garrity, creative director from Massive Entertainment. <laughs> She's well, this is nice, this <laughs> hey, how's it going, Julian? Welcome. All right. Thank you, and thank you for wearing those shoes. I like to make everybody feel. I'm not feel... actually that short. No, no, you're, I'm, you're actually taller than me without these shoes on. I'm sorry. I'll go with it. <laughs> And thanks to all the Division players out there who are so passionate about our game. Yeah. It's a cool, cool-ass game. And you guys have been adding all kinds of new stuff to the game since it debuted. We heard uh, just a little while ago about the Underground, so do you want to tell us more about what's going on with Absolutely. that? Absolutely. So, in Underground, you Did and you guys your hear team about the Division movie? against a dangerous threat what? hidden beneath the streets of News yes. to me. And I didn't know about that. There's plan to make that a division endless movie. Replayability mm. and even better rewards the well, make a movie for everything. Creed movie. So, I mean, one of the nothing cool shocks me anymore. World, it is so robust and you're making it also, robust. here's one from Jim Sterling. So no, Aisha, we're falling asleep at our computers content, because you just said the division. <laughs> <laughs> I know, big and yes. pushy. Yes. I agree. Underground but will be out I've, June I've 28th feel on Xbox division One and PC. Need something August 2nd on PS4. And this is just one of the updates we'll be releasing this year. The, because for the Division team, uh, this is a long-term commitment. Virus thing we love this world. The event you of love the game. this world. And we're gonna keep on more than anything it else. For you. It's awesome. I mean, you know, I've been in love with this game since you guys first uh, debuted. So it. Yeah. little one of the shows that I hosted, explanation really, really excited about it. what cool. the Division. And that's not the only thing we're we going to we tell doing you about this? today. We've got a little surprise for you to celebrate Ubisoft's 30th birthday we're giving our fans three exclusive outfits to use in game and Ghost my Recon, hands are just disconnected rainbow six and splinter <laughs> awesome. awesome. oh. new skin you get an outfit you, you get an outfit. chad you get the three outfits good for you chad you're not oprah winfrey okay. if Shut you're up. a member of ubisoft club 
all of these now outfits they, will be through. Now they had ones with for the Hui Hui the Hui. Or even the Rayman characters. I bet that would be even better. <laughs> I don't know. I have a lot of feelings. Yeah. <laughs> they let us do this. But not. No. I love it. Well, I'm super stoked about Rayman. Very Ray out of in, in, place. Uh, trifocal goggles without getting arrested like I typically do. So uh, we've got Underground. We've got dope new outfits. We've got one okay. more expansion to talk to you about today. In it, you'll struggle to find meager supplies in New York and fight to survive in some of the most brutal weather conditions imaginable. It's a completely new way of playing the game, and you'll be able to play it very soon, even sooner if you're on Xbox One or PC. Ladies and gentlemen, this Rocco, is Rocco, you miss yeah. South Park. <coughs> oh! So, essentially, they have uh, decided to combine the Xbox Blizzard the was getting worse. Xbox Microsoft deal. But we had to the investigate PC. the rumors of a cure. So PC users get everything a year. A, um, a, what is it? I think it's a month before everybody else. It's. You can't even call it exclusivity then if it's if it's a month before PlayStation gets it. Then. Yeah. The storm took everything. No That's food, what it just sounded no like, water, the guy saying. Temperature dropping. <clears throat> we are not alone out here. In this world, it's hunter against prey. Go, go, go. survive. Yeah. <laughs> it's all set. Yeah, it's the division. Moving on. Right. I need to see Watch Dogs now. That's all I need. Next. Uh, so much awesomeness. Now, for Ubisoft, VR is the perfect technology for making gaming more accessible. And Ubisoft Montreal's Funhouse team built a game that just about everyone is going to know how to play the minute they put on their headsets. So, here to take us into the world of Eagle Flight... Oh, goody. VR. <laughs> well, I, I figured they would. Everyone seems to be touching upon a bit of it. ...inventor and founder of Oculus, and Jason Holtman, head of publishing at Oculus VR. Oh, for a second, I thought that said EA, but it was Eagle. EA Glee Fighter? Wait, no. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. Oh, actually, they showed this uh, last year. I think. I could be wrong. But most of all, it's just super fun. And by super fun, I mean I can beat Palmer almost every time I play. That's not true. <laughs> um, but, I mean, we've so many game games, so little time. Yeah, yep. I just realized so December really not only has South Park, but also has Cage 2.8. Rip. And I bet by then you'll moment. also be. Yeah, yeah, the, the people will have spoken, and you will be doing another know. Kingdom Hearts replay. Yeah, probably. I hope not, because I want to get through the last two games I have left before I do another replay. 
It's called Capture the Prey. And two teams of three. So you want to do recoded and dream drop by the time. Over here we have the blue team resplendent. Well, 2.8 will probably have dropped by then. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. I kind of want to do recoded and then dream drop for next year. With his two wingmen. Completely optional to do recoded though. Yeah, but I want to get it. It's, it's a short game too, so I just want to get it out of the way with. Oh, like what? You can get it done in a weekend? It, it, mostly it takes like 20 hours to beat. So. Oh, so about two weeks then. Yeah. So we can see it's not a very long game. Right there at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, I've been seeing a giraffe in pretty much everything. There's even one in the South team. Park. Oh man, I, that, that's the, I, I'm just glad how much right, they spent time on South Park. In the world, but you get the idea. That was a good <laughs> amount. Good <laughs> amount. Yeah, that trailer was amazing. I'm just I'm just happy they're going the Civil War route. That's freaking awesome. That's not what I thought they were going with before. But now knowing that's what they're doing, that's fantastic. Because I actually thought what they thought they were going to do was they were all going to team up, do like an Avengers kind of like thing. That's what I originally thought they were going to do. I do like how they just poke fun at it all. Yeah. I so I think it's pretty clear that Tony is team, you know, team Coon and um, uh, Cap is Team Mysterion. Yeah. I want to see that parody now. <laughs> Oh, and he's been hit by Andre. Well, the thing the rabbit is as down. well is... Charlie's got it. There are um, multiple... So the red team in possession. Um... Civil War storyline oh, in no. Marvel. Killed by Vicky. So I think it would have probably been at least a little bit more interesting. Gonna pick it up. If They're they just did it, the like... Now. Um... Villains for heroes. The blue team. But your character gets to choose whether they want to be a hero or a villain. There's the nest. And Nintendo had year of Luigi, mind. Ubisoft had the year yeah. of the giraffe. Year of the giraffe. That's the second thing I've seen on this conference that has a giraffe. Oh, oh, South Park had, had the one. On the Did wall. they actually? In, in the kids' room, there was one on the wall. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right! During the origin story! Oh, I didn't even. I actually didn't even notice. Yeah. <laughs> it was right. It was in the corner closest to the door. Well, that's one of the few reactions I'm gonna clip up. Yeah, I think we need a it's giraffe counter instead of the no. a giraffe <laughs> yeah, counter. We're still good with the drunk counter. Yeah, or, the yeah. The, 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 counter. The, the slur <laughs> counter. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's like we needed a giraffe counter. Over to the Pantheon. We're up to ten, aren't we? Uh, we we're at nine. <laughs> Maybe ten. I didn't. I didn't ca if, if there was any in that last trailer for South Park, then I don't know. Well not Not understanding this one. This is a VR game. It's supposed to be like you're flying. You're supposed to be like an eagle. It's looking like I like an eagle game. Fly, yeah, fly like an eagle. That better be the the menu song, or I'll be disappointed. Probably won't be because that costs money, and this like it was made on the cheap. And Andre's down. Sure. Yeah. Vicky taking him out there. It better be the song. Andre from uh, from Game Explain got wrecked there. No, that's probably not really him. Utilizing the thermals. You heard like twelve? Okay, then I'll put twelve then. <laughs> Actually, who has the rights to the the um? Harry Potter game. It's very interesting. But... Okay, we have to chase on to get to that final nest. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I, it's it's neat. Mm. It's neat if you like if you like uh, the whole VR thing. But you play this or Harry Potter the yeah, Quidditch World Cup. Yeah. I, I like like having VR, having it like that you having the ability to fly like that. That's actually kind of neat. I will say. That's one of those things that makes VR interesting. For those of you here, you can come to the Ubisoft booth and the Oculus oh, booth to try out yourselves. Like, so we would love to come and see down there. The, uh, Thanks very much. In, Have a great E3. Like, whipping and doing like all the interesting movements. It can make this like crazy. Right. Thanks to Palmer and Jason, Charlie, and of course the entire dev team. I actually got to play an early version of this game last year at E3, and I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, it was like super alpha, and I peed a little. Like it wasn't even very good, and it was awesome. So this is gonna be incredible. I really encourage you to check it out. Yeah, Eagle, Rift is Eagle Flight is gonna be on Oculus Sorry. and all the other VR platforms this fall, and it is playable this week at the Ubisoft and Oculus booth, so get down there and, uh, and do it. Now, 
Now that we've seen some flying raptors soaring through abandoned city streets, it's time to ascend a bit higher in elevation. So please welcome okay. Ubisoft Red Storm's David Votipka. At Ubisoft, VR is about more than just technology. And another VR game? It's about creating games that just weren't possible before and exploring new worlds with friends without ever having to leave your living room. It's about fully immersing yourself in these worlds and going places and becoming people and doing things that you otherwise could not do. <laughs> Today, VR... <laughs> yeah, high five, teamwork, I'm a bird. The final <laughs> frontier. Oh, and now we're going to space? Final Frontier? Does that, does that mean Star oh, Trek? No Man's Sky. No, no, that, that's a different developer. Not Ubisoft. It, yeah, I, I think I hear Star Trek. Assassin's Creed Space? Captain's oh, fuck no. Nah. Yeah, it's Star Trek. Trek. Yeah. It's Star Trek. I called that, yeah, it's Star Trek. <laughs> We've gathered it, some of the most decorated officers in the Federation to test her limits and to prove her place among the It Star had to have been Star Trek ships. with with them We're saying Final Frontier. <laughs> and are proceeding to our destination at maximum warp. I think that's LeVar Verdon speaking. This is amazing! Wow! Absolutely astonishing. When I walked in, I really wasn't sure what I was actually walking into. This is... <laughs> Very cool. If I could have imagined what I would have wanted the Star Trek VR game to be, mm. this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. <gasps> Holy crap, this is amazing. I mean, it's really his breathtaking. That was an extraordinary experience to be. Oh, great. Now I can, now you can tell us. Yeah, um, uh, Will the Eaton to shut up, what Wesley, in, in VR. You're interacting with each other and you're talking to each other and you're taking orders from the captain and you're, I mean, it's, it's really cool. So there's captain, helm, yeah. pilot in the ship, uh -huh. tactical, and the engineer routing power and charging warp coils. I'm feeling and pressure already. I'm feeling <laughs> nervous now. All right, shields up. Prepare warp. Take us out. Yes, captain. <laughs> Co-op game playing is not new. I mean, you know, we can play games with our friends, but there's something wow. different about being in a shared virtual environment. Hearing who you're playing with, you can look over and see the person and see them doing their job Have and talk to them. Have you played any the of the unless everyone does their job well? Star Trek games? Or have you heard of them? Okay, shields up. Nope. Shields up. Uh, really the only Star Trek to, game, uh, the, the only Star Trek games I'm aware of are Star Trek Online by, uh, and the and Star Trek really game that came out sometime, and they are transporting, Captain. sometime it's before like, or after the first like Star Trek My movie. face? Why? What did I do? <laughs> like, seriously, this that is an actual monster. This. Red alert. There is, warp. like, We're this thing could sell pretty been waiting in anticipation. Because it's like for there's so an app you can get for maybe the and stuff that does the same thing, but it's just like with where we poor. And Welcome back, Trender. But and or Trendex, maybe. Like, kind of like the fuck is this? Oh yeah, that's, that's kind of what it, I have been. It's because like, ha, huh, sitting simulator. That's what I'm getting at here. <laughs> that's what most VR games are. True, they are. But this is more like no, this is legit sitting. Your, your character is even that's sitting. Legit sitting. <laughs> this looks like it's pre-pre. <laughs> yeah. I'm. That's a. I think it is actually. Explain that there is actually a marketplace for this kind of thing uh, amongst Star Trek fans who have played the land games. No, I'm, I, I, I'm safe to say some of the easy allies are probably like yes to that. I can tell. Yes. To yeah. That. Like, Guys, Ubisoft is bringing you the first ever Star Trek VR game. As you can see, it's amazing, and you heard it here first. Unless, of course, you heard. Can't it wait to sit in a spaceship. Me too. Reddit. Me hide. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be doing that already in No Man's Sky. Here is the man That's who was. And now probably be a better game, in my opinion. VR even existed, oh, Mr. Oh wow! We're already here. Yeah, we're already shooting it down. <laughs> ah, it's too early to say, but. 
is happening. This is happening. Okay. Hey, look, it's the reading room rainbow guy. I have installed here for precisely this. Right. Thank you so much. Um, so it looks. Oh yeah, like it is uh, actually. Some of the old Trek band back together. I mean, like yeah, the barber who mm -hmm. was in um, yeah. both Star together. Trek and Reading so Rainbow. So I have two questions uh -huh. for you. First of all, he's also um, in Roots, from what I understand. Email, so why no invite? Yeah. But we'll talk about that after. <laughs> he was also the executive uh, producer of the more recent Roots miniseries. Right. We use our imaginations so much. Right. When you're on the set. Yeah, you guys know that. Um, when you're operating the console, there's, it's really not connected to anything. You, you knew that, right? You're breaking all our hearts I know, right I know, now. I know, I know, I know, I know. But here's the thing. You don't have to imagine in this game. You are existing in a completely rendered environment. You are on the bridge of a starship and you're with your friends. Oh. It's, it's pretty cool. It's so amazing. So uh, what was it like working with that particular crew, all of you having had real Enterprise experience? I know I can't let go of the fact that it's, it's not real. OK, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but back. it feels real. Yeah. I mean, it felt real to us when we were doing it. But uh, playing with Carl and Jerry was amazing because you know we have this special bond, uh, just like you will with, with your friends mm -hmm. when you play. And here's the thing. We really had to work together to accomplish the mission. And what's more Star Trek than that? I mean, you can play as the engineer, or uh, you, can, you can drive the ship, mm -hmm. you can be tactical, or you can be the captain, but no one position is more important than any other. Everybody has to do their level best in order to get the job done, and, and that's at the core of what Star Trek has always been about for me. Right, and what people love about cooperative games. Yeah, like. absolutely. Um, so when you were uh, when you were Jordy before, you were the engineer. Yes. But uh, in the game, you got to be the captain. So I what did, did that feel like? Well, <laughs> I told the guys at Red Storm that I was not going to shave my head <laughs> um, for the privilege. And, uh, and wait, so this is VR said, anime? And, um, <laughs> for me, it was. It took a minute for me to get. Acclimated because in it was that's new to me. Anyone slipped into Jordy. Is it was interested? Like skin. I just that was like put the it right thing I'm talking about. The, the link the rhythm, rhythm, the techno is the you know, techno um, in, when back. game you can get. But I was I'm used to like responding to Ooh, an order. Years ago, one Lavar is making me feel order. good. So Look at that like, smile. Oh, I want yeah, a smile um, like uh, that. Engage. That's how we start this thing. So it took a moment, but I I got the hang of it, and it's it's such a blast. I think that they really nailed it. The graphics, everything, it's so beautiful, but you will forget all of that right. because the gameplay is so engaging. God, it's yeah. so cool. It's well, awesome. I can't wait to play this game. Uh, preferably at your house. Yes. Um, well, you can come over and then we can play. We can play. By with, engaging, like, they mean there's Prince. always oh, something that keeps you distracted you every other right second. No, no. Uh, Won't that be cool, though? Yes, it yes. would be cool. Yeah. I don't want to burst into tears uh, in the middle of this conference, so I'll just cry it out with you after. But thank you so much for talking about My this pleasure. with us today. My and uh, uh, you are dismissed. Uh, but you can't dismiss me unless you outrank me. Uh, it's very clear that I don't outrank you by like many <laughs> levels, so I will just say, make it so, number one. I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Guys, the bar burden, everybody! The bar burden! <laughs> okay, so. We've all imagined ourselves on that bridge. Now you get to do it. We're going to have Star Trek Bridge Crew at the Ubisoft booth, and of course, when it comes out this fall on all major VR systems. Oh, it's not a trailer. Or. Okay, okay uh, um. That just abruptly ended. <laughs> oh, that was kind of a bad transition. This is, is something entirely different. Uh, another the one that came from someone is surely the major barrier to play Star Trek VR is in the headset, but finding three other Star Trek fans. <laughs> <laughs> Ubisoft presents wait. <laughs> oh wait, is or is this um for Honor? Yeah, I think this is for Honor. Ooh, here's a, here's another good one. LeVar Burton could sell me Final Fantasy 13 and the third birthday. Hmm. <laughs> no, 
another one. Um, dear LeVar yeah, Burton, tell me when the VR reading rainbow comes out. Yeah. Aw, <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so, oh. We got a Viking, we got a Samurai, and we got a Soldier. Or a Knight. Uh, maybe? This is like some deadliest warrior shit. Yeah, it kinda really is. <laughs> Which, ironically, I think was published by Ubi. Yeah, I think it was. I remember, they, I, I remember they made a game. No, this is, no, this is for honor. First Deadliest Warrior game was so bad. <laughs> That's what I heard. Like there were, you could. D it's a. It, not only is it just a bad game, it's a. It's a bad fighting game. <laughs> yes, they're fighting over water. <laughs> yeah, you could. It was too easy to die in that one if you picked the for right. For water. Character. Yes, that should be the name of this game now, not for honor. For water. For water. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. The reason they fight lost to the ages. Oh, I would like to play as the samurai, dude. And yet, here oh, the water's now Kool Aid. <laughs> oh, yeah! Mmm, <laughs> strawberry Kool Aid. Wait, this isn't a strawberry! This is cherry! It's raspberry! Oh, get wrecked! <laughs> no, it's iron! An arrow to the tip! <laughs> For Kool Aid! For Kool Aid! <laughs> yeah, well, I know. Ah yes, this guy. No, I play for glory. Ah oh, yes. Desperation drives us to war. It is trust that can end it. Apollyon and her Blackstone legions crave Just a, a flesh world wound. where trust <laughs> is impossible. Just but a flesh wound. And the wolves among us can roam free. I'm Jason Vandenberg, I'm the creative director on For Honor. Last year, in our multiplayer reveal, we gave you the chance to experience our new melee combat system, the art of battle. Now, we welcome you to the world of For Honor. In our campaign, be knighted. Join the Blackstone Legions to drive your enemies from your land. I like this guy. He's got I do. I like his presentation. I like how he explains it. Your people to prevent he's got, he's got a war and restore gusto to him. Steve. Yeah. A bit of moxie, if you will. Mm -hmm. I think and it's the cane. Like it. Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's better to Beard be doesn't hurt either. I'd like you to meet... I'd like you to meet our game director on For Honor, Roman Campos Oriola. Come on out, Roland. A what? <laughs> That's a name I, I will never be able to pronounce. Yeah. Will not be able to pronounce. You. I'm pretty sure an Oriola is out the of a butt. In the aftermath of war, your people were starving. <laughs> you brought them back. Now, <laughs> that is a bitch. That's a bitch and beer. I wish I could aspire to. Give me a beard like that for a pre-order bonus. <laughs> <laughs> pre-order for honor, and you get a beard. Beard mess. <laughs> or hell, yeah. I'd settle for the beard that you give Claptrap in a commission oh. for one of the DLCs in okay. Borderlands Two. Uh, yay! Bad ass fucking wizard. Bad is back. I hope we see a pretty badass. Demo here. 
but not. Uh, that's from Aria. Gavin of Miracle of Sound. Not yet. You might not know who that is. But they knew we were I've coming. I've heard some of his stuff, but I think he does. I th I think he does mostly those um uh, mass. The he used to do those Mass Effect Ooh. songs. The Samurai's <laughs> taking on the Vikings. Mass Effect Three song. Well, rip that guy. <laughs> I bet he was only two days from retirement. Yeah, and rip that guy as well. Uh. Hi, Ronnie. Yes, you can see me. No, the, it, it, no actually, just no. Just kidding. It's a, it's a, it's like, yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's a hologram, just like uh, Tupac. No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You're just a stunt double. Yes. Oh shit, here we go. Wanna see some Oh yeah. The gates of that. Oh I love how everyone just charges it like that. Oh yes. Oh go jumping right in the Yeah, going right at go yes. <laughs> I love this. Stay out of the target beacon! Get wrecked! <laughs> oh, here we go. Very hack and slashy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is where it gets a little more in depth. Ooh. Ooh. So, like, you, some parts do require a bit of finesse. Yeah, I think this is when you're facing like an um, like an actual per play other player. So the, you have like NPCs running around with you. Ooh, nice. Man, that looks satisfying. Yeah, it does. It really does. I, I feel this game will be best played with a controller. Ah, uh, this is called For Honor. This is what this is. PC show is still going on. Forward. What? The heck? That's still going on? What the fuck? Fail. Get over here. I guess they think the PC gaming show is more important than a press conference. <laughs> oh no, Twitch has changed to this, but the PC gaming show is still going on. Oh, okay. how, long, how long can they go on for? Jesus. <laughs> this is the gaming show that never ends. It goes on and on, my friend. This on the other hand. Go! Lead the climb! Oh, nice. Ha! <laughs> Throw bricks at him! <laughs> Someone said, hey, douchebag, stop laughing. We should appreciate people with this much passion. What? Uh oh. Oh, wrecked. <laughs> One warrior made it to the And top. that's exactly why I don't. One would be enough. I guess he should. I guess he wanted to ask a question. Ah, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. That was horrible. I, I, I feel bad Let for that. Let me ask you a question. Why else you kill? Crazy. Yes. I must ask you a question, but I'll save it for later. What have I started? I guess I'll shave it for later after I get a slice of cake. You're the one who said you had to ask a question. <laughs> this is what I get. Oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna spear him off the building with him. <laughs> yeah, power bomb him off. Yeah, power bomb him off the building. <laughs> I was expecting something totally different there. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Goodness. Getting us. 
getting a bit of a Zelda vibe from it with, with the combat. Like, mm -hmm. 3D Zelda. Yeah. Definitely getting like a Skyward vibe here, because <laughs> Skyward Sword kind of kind of uh, has the same little the fighting beast. mechanics of it. Some guy was like, this guy is my freaking spirit animal. My fortress is lost. My soldiers slaughtered. Soon, I will join them. You open the gate. Now you will pay. <laughs> oh, damn. Knee to the face. Damn. Oh, okay, I think this sums it up perfectly. This is Destiny Warriors. If it was angry, it'd struggle the tribe. Mm. Oh, damn. Oh! <laughs> okay, that, that's a critical hit. <laughs> that's a critical hit. I think he's getting up after that one. <laughs> that's a... That was... 20 times the damage right there. Out of his body just disappeared. Oh yeah, it did actually. <laughs> but yeah, that was like some soul caliber shit right there. Mm-hmm. And you get hit in the nuts so hard he'd be spawned. February 14th. Hmm. Looks like it's gonna be a very bloody Valentine. Yeah. Yep. I mean, Persona comes out then too, so there's gonna be a lot of blood. I have not known. Give that very yeah. special someone in your life for honor will be available on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, sweet. It's a nice gesture. What could be more romantic than dinner, drinks, and an all-night bender of epic warfare? <laughs> Either you'll bond forever, or she'll move out in the morning. And if you're in LA, come by the Ubisoft booth for, to play For Honor. <laughs> now, for those of you watching at home, head to For Honor Game. Ooh, there's an uh, upcoming out. Oh, I want to play that. will come very soon. All right. Oh, I want to try that out. Yep. Here to talk about catapulting of a completely different kind, please welcome producer at Ubisoft Reflections, Pete Young. Whoa, what's that? Who's that? Looks like a robot. At Ubisoft, we get to tell all kinds of stories. Like how we can go from a massive AAA game like For Honor to, well, to a wobbly red robot in a small experimental game. Last year, we surprised you and ourselves with Grow Home, the story of our little robot bird learning how to experience the world around him. And today, I'm really excited to announce that bird is back. You say robot bird? And this time, he's not just growing home, Grow up. he's growing up. His name is Wait, what bird. is this game? I like you said, robot bird. It's called Grown Home. I don't remember this. I don't either. Oh my god. Wow, it's cute. Yeah, it's certainly got quirky music. Oh, Bud. Bud. He was saying the name of the robot. It's Bud. Oh. Yeah, he said Bud. But it sounds like he said Bird. Yeah, I know it did. Like a 3D platformer. Yeah. Of some sorts, yeah. In Grow Up, it kind of looks like Mario Galaxy on a smaller steps steps budget. Without mm -hmm. the watchful eye I, of Mom. I, and you'll get to stretch your said, acrobatic skills my across an entire planet. I love you. I'm just playground. wondering if you'd marry me. Also, Not I love Grow Up. <laughs> growing can you up. your words? <laughs> Not only can you ride the giant star plants, 
but you can throw down seeds and use oh, this is a sequel to, bounce, to a game oh and catapult yourself to new I don't remember which one it was all the way to the moon we want you to help bud grow up this august on pc playstation 4 and xbox one thank you and enjoy e3 Pete, your accent is so adorable, you could forget to say anything at all and just turn those vowels into words way up. There were like 18 A's in that word. You're awesome. Now, at its core, Ubisoft is a creative company with an independent spirit, and support for innovative projects is a part of its DNA. But every once in a while, that DNA mutates slightly, and this happens. Here are the Ubisoft uh, what do we got here? Creative. Director, Tag Team Champions, Hanty, Heaven of the Soul, and Dean Evans! It's gonna be a WWE game. Nah. What? No! Yeah. That's um, 2K! They, yeah. That's 2K. I don't know. Ish? It looks like he's wearing a bait jacket. <laughs> it looks like they're wearing leopard print. <laughs> Or not leopard print, freaking zebra print. What on earth is this? Don't know. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Where's Chad? Not you. Out. So I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hello, I'm Anthea Levasor. That guy in the front's probably like, what the fuck, man? Also, President of Finland. Oh, it's trials. The, um, oh, it's oh, it's trials. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> Hello, I'm Dean Evans, creative director of the original Blood Dragon, and uh, <laughs> Edge. Or, or they were just um, explaining their credentials. I don't know now. Oh, uh, may maybe. It's probably going to be something over the top. That's right, Andy. Yeah. And this horrible problem child is being delivered right now. Now. What the frickin' heck? Now loading. What? Oh my god. Wait, what? What the frick even what up. is? Rick's power cult and Dr. Darling are back. This what? Holy shit! They've done a Blood Dragon sequel. 90s throwback. Wait, is this? No, this is no, this is Trials. This is Trials. It just has the uh, Blood Dragon feel to it. What the? What even? What? Is the place and the action is in your face. Ride through loops, loops, and multiple dimensions. It's the future. It's a game. It, I want it. Yes, it sure is. Video game everywhere. Video game everywhere. Made in Taiwan. What? Made in Taiwan. <laughs> Trials of the Blood Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, we did it. Wait, oh, it's out now. Title to get you excited. It's out now. Okay. Beast, and in case you didn't get the incredibly subtle messaging in that video, it is out now on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Uh, well, actually, it's almost out now. We didn't want anybody sprinting off to Steam, chase come here. while we were still here on stage. So the game will be released as soon as this conference ends, about 30 minutes How from now. How much is this adorably uh, calm yourselves freaking and, weird uh, game? Take comfort in the fact that <laughs> Probably pretty, like, FAM pretty cheap. Together, guys. So that was nice. Right. I think you need to buy it off of you guys. Play. Minimum, man. Right. Yeah, I know guys, I'd have to buy it off of you play, but... This mm. is Ubisoft. And there is, Try yes it is, my friends. And there is no UBE3 experience without a deep dive into Assassin's Creed. You know this. AC and time. This. And this year is special because Assassin's Creed oh. is about to go super. Movie time. Yeah. 
Yeah, figured they showed the trailer. Assassin's Creed movie. Please join me in welcoming legendary movie producer Frank Marshall. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. I love the music. Get, we gotta get our ass cred in. Yeah, I gotta get the. I love the music though. Yeah, the music's quite nice. Sure. Today. Yeah, um, case, yeah we're, I'm excited I'm, to have you. The plot is know, just like, straight up stupid. Some of the huge yes. films and film franchises. <laughs> I'm, that I'm, I'm happy that you do acknowledge how dumb it is. Jones, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> the Bourne films. I, as much as I, I have played through all of them, and I can say the plot is is stupid. <laughs> I'd rather have the plot just be stuck within the, the what's the, with the assassins and all that. I don't care with anything that's going on outside the animus. So it was kind of awesome. so I could care less. Because <laughs> at this point, it, at this point, they don't know what they're doing. What's going outside the animus? And uh, bring something new. To I think they stopped hoping, giving fucks uh, after they closed out. Yeah, <laughs> after three, I could care less what goes on outside the animus. I just play whatever's uh, going on inside. Hero, dynamic, uh, okay, so what are you hoping the movie to be? We kind of well, a little bit just of the old just the assassins. I don't care about. I don't care about anything outside the animus. With a new what I'm Let me ask this: the If is so the movie is going off. to be, if they, uh, if, I think everybody is super. If they spend time inside the animus entirely saying, and don't <laughs> no, do oh, anything yes. yeah, outside yeah. of it, would you be well, satisfied they, with that? Well, they will do what stuff outside it because that's part. Like I don't mind the like. Well, it's really. Like, cause I understand that there's a test subject or whatever, so that's fine, whatever. But most of the bit, an Assassin's Creed game is all about the experience inside the animus, not outside. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to say, though. In time, just like in the game. My highest hope uh, for the we movie really wanted to is get the right team to um, put together the subject movie. We with our director, 16, really esteemed, uh, who is the director, test subject um, in the movie. Named Justin Kurzel, Cause that seems like it's really gonna be awesome. And if he's really a you true don't know, he's the guy who does, he left the, the um, game and how fragments to them into the movie. in uh, Then we assembled a team of really incredibly two? talented people to uh, uh, surround him with. And, the uh, pieces create the world and, that leads you to the video of and, um, the the truth, precursors and, and anim yeah, uh, the truth. The, uh, and like all and, and those leading up to... Yeah, I mean, that's such a, um, uh, such a revelations. Part of this world is the physical aspect so, of this right, game. Right, trying like, to replicate that in the real That world. is my exactly. ideal scenario. We've got the best in the world at doing those different a little bit of those, those different kinds of backstory so, of the animus itself. What do you think we're going to be most excited um, about? Maybe a bit of explanation on how they reverse engineered the animus from Precursor Tech, which it is. If you haven't actually, if you didn't pay that much attention to someone claiming they've won E3 just about just on talking in the Assassin's Creed movie. Fuck no. Fuck no. Of being able to can't do that. that. It has to be a game. Uh, the world, can't be the movie. The lives and the ancestors. Yeah, they they, they gotta tease uh, like a, a the next game. That our character. If yeah. they announce yeah. Assassin's Creed I mean, I the movie, the game. No, no, no. They're not gonna make it. No, no, no. They're not gonna make a. They're not gonna make a game based off the movie. I mean, they're gonna tease like AC five. No, now, this is I E3, think that would so be hilarious. Like, oh, well, that would be. Yes. It'll be the only. It'll be the first movie tying game that's actually good on. because it started off as a. Actually, okay. uh, I'm excited because <laughs> I just thought I can that the whole inception idea of a game, a movie based on the game, already. having a game, uh, so we're gonna have was kind of the whole. That uh, gives you a sneak peek <clears> behind the curtain. Yeah, and shows you insanity of things at Ubisoft as well as probably never could really before pull it off and it'd be uh, from a the fairly movie. decent so game. Roll that video very soon, as soon yeah, as you are, give the yeah, word, as soon as, right? As soon as I throw to it. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, Assassin's Creed is going to be in theaters December 21st. Uh, so play a lot of Assassin's Creed before then, so it's all inside of you. Well, I've already played all of them, so I don't and need now, to. <laughs> for your viewing enjoyment, I present uh, Mr. Michael Fassbender. Mm. Hope they can you get a trailer for your movie? Yep. I hope they put music from the actual game in the trailer rather than. All you gotta do is put, have a lot of parkour and you're good. 
Yeah. Jumping off rooftops. The assassins are fighting for free will, and their main rivals are Templars. The Templars are trying to enhance humankind through science. I think Assassin's Creed has a really deep concept and idea, which is going back into time and having some sort of relationship with the ancestor that's come before you. The overall journey of the film is through the eyes of hmm. our protagonist, the Michael Fassbender's play. Evidence of the bleed through effect. What do you want from me? Your past. He starts to learn that he comes from a lineage of assassins. He realizes the truth. So, himself just from what I've gathered early on, and just from this trailer, is that Abstergo abducts. The, it, yeah, they abduct. Yeah, it's that the idea is they abduct people and then they make them do tests. Do it against stuff. their will. Yeah. 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 That that's basically like in the actual game as well. That's what they do. is one of the greatest actors of his generation. Because they try to they try to do that to look for like people's ancestors who were were assassins. To look for uh, pieces of uh, yeah pe yeah pieces of you know or basically like art of like powerful artifacts that can basically can control the world or whatever. Uh, and then once they've outlived their usefulness, they probably kill them. Pretty much. Generally speaking, no, because you need a live subject to extract. No, I mean, after well, I, well, I, well, I, yeah, 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 was, yeah. After they got As what I they. Said, Generally, no, because they they need a lot of live subjects to extract information from them, as you. So essentially, you have two parrots, and generally, throughout the whole I entire history exactly of Assassin's Creed, uh, I think both of your parents tend to be um, in that role assassins. Over the years we played the game, but I can't think so of a better So when you think of it like that. Super hot. Uh, you have an infinite naked. amount of people um, right. who just me. Okay. Uh, are assassins and who have could have interacted oh. with of Eden and oh. watchdogs right. okay. time. Yeah, watchdogs time. Yeah. Your favorite social media giant invite? Yep. Might, might help to have a phone at the ready if there are any QR codes because they did do that for the you know, for the first reveal of Watch Dogs. Yeah, that's true. I'll get it ready here. Congressman Mark Russ. Invite wields the single most powerful population control tool ever created. Defend democracy. Help us tear down Invite. Let us your processing power by downloading our app and together. We will expose Congressman Thrust. Join us. <laughs> Looks like Reaper in Overwatch, kinda. I like, he like, he kinda does. Oh, here we go. As I said, Ooh, they California. Yeah, yeah, we're going to, yeah, uh, that's what they mentioned in the, uh, the release little events. It is gonna be in San Francisco, yep. Which I mean, it's like, the and game seems too hipster now. The birthplace of the tech revolution. And what <coughs> it also seems to be ground. slightly jumpy. This time, like, you whatever they're running it on doesn't have enough. Rebelling against an establishment enough, that uses technology. Um, graphics card. My daughter thinks Reaper looks power. like Kylo Ren. <laughs> Marcus Holloway, a brilliant young hacker on a mission to take back control. Is it jittery for anybody else, or is it just me? No, it's no, it's now fine for me. Now we all live in the connected world. I mean, the uh, gameplay. No, it must be uh, through technology. It looks like it's 60 frames per second. Hacker, yeah. This world is filled with opportunity. First game was 60, wasn't it? So I know. Uh, no, it was 30. Everything around you. Well, that's already an improvement. Yeah. Because that game was bet was on all consoles. So it was on last gen and next gen. Oh. <laughs> My car! <laughs> to, to quote the guy from Final Fight, Oh, my car! And you're not alone. We encounter other dead sec actors. And now, getting into co op has never been simpler. But for now, let's deal with invite. 
A social media Shut giant. Up. You want to co you want to co-op? I bet you're hoping that they improve the vehicle control too. I yeah, bet. I heard they 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 have improved them by like a lot, so they're not like so weighty. So it's almost like GTA 5's car uh, feel. Which was more or less anything before GTA 4, which yeah. was, had a, a lot of weight and heft to them. Yeah. What's Watch Dogs? It's basically an open world game where you are basically a hacker and you can hack a bunch of shit. And Matrix, you never played your own, your own simulator? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I can tell. Yeah, I can tell the vehicles look like they have not as much weight on them anymore. Thank God. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's like that we're cutting ahead. Yeah. To the actual demo, legit demo. Yo, check it out. Um, this guy is like um. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty man. sure you can't hack into oh, a 983 a Firebird with a cell phone. Oh, you probably could. You don't know. You don't know that. You probably could. Knowing technology nowadays, you could almost hack into anything. Yeah, the, Drive it. It's it's all too true that you, you can hack into anything almost like that. This is what uh, Gavin said. In Watch Dogs 2, you play a social media... Uh, Obsessed San Francisco hipster. Hey, he looks cool though. I like I like how he looks. He looks more. He has more character than the first guy. <laughs> that guy was yeah, so really lifeless. Protecting his sister. His, it was his sister and his and his uh, and her uh, son. I think it was. Yeah. They're up to something. I'll see what. Uh, there's another. Find out who. Yeah. The death of oh yeah, <laughs> that's so that's awesome already. Oh, dr freaking drones! Of course, there's got to be drones. I love it. They got armed help in there. Something's definitely up. Make the Bay Area stronger. That almost sounds a bit too fam familiar to a certain slogan uh, to, uh, to a candidate in the ca in the presidential race. The system. Once I do, you use the button. <laughs> Just saying. Do not bring politics into this, please. But thank you. Once you start downloading, they'll know you're inside. Yes, ma'am. If they didn't, and I've got a surprise for them. <clears throat> Where are we on wiping Congress from cloud? That's done, but there's a team that invites scrubbing the backups too. They're good at this. They're the best computer forensic team we have. You pay top dollar, you get top talent. That's what I want to hear. Hmm. Looks like he could snap photos. Could you do that in the first one? Uh, snap photos from cameras? Not in this perspective, no. I wonder if you can take that car and drive it into people. Yo, Satara, I'm ready to go in. Play me something fresh. <laughs> That's do 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 do. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's my sneak into a building music. Yeah. I think the the song that played during the. Uh, Glad to see it's taking itself a little more fun for itself, unlike the first game, which was trying like, to be super serious. super serious. Like Al Gore super cereal? Yeah, like that super cereal. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to be super cereal, you guys! 
Sorry. I I feel like it needs to be fairly serious with some comedic elements rather than it being like completely comedic. No. Already done. This isn't our first rodeo. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, he dropped a big pile of cash. Oh, it's a gun. <laughs> that's, as, that's just as good as money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could just hack the ATMs for the most part and get money. If I remember, you actually you hack somebody and then you go to the ATM and get their money. You just lock those doors. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> Even more toys. An RT vehicle. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Just gonna come over here. <laughs> Oh, he's using a taser. Don't yep. tase me, bro! That's cool, he's got a little taser gun. Now some gunplay. Uh, uh, I think the drone has a taser as well. Well, that's neat, so you don't... You... So you can go through the entire game without killing anyone, you just tase them. What the heck? <laughs> so you could t you could take the Batman route. Yeah. Ooh, double finger salute, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Get fucked. Wee! You got hacked. <laughs> well, there Oh nice. Were two oh he oh he does like part oh he does parkour. All oh, the music! <laughs> Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see if they, they if, uh, since the cops are after him, can he escape on yeah, boat? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, this is awesome. Oh, no, they're not gonna show that part. Okay. Cool, cool. So You're totally on board oh, with that, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I like the fact that he's got the little um, RCs and droids that can help him. Much like you, whenever I am infiltrating a corrupt politician's penthouse, I also listen to Eric B. and Rakim. And now, I'd like to welcome Ubisoft CEO Eve Guillermo to tell you a little bit more about It comes down on my birthday! What does it? Really? I think that's what she said, yes. I, it was like November October? Or, or November? Oh, November, yeah, yeah, that's right. November 16th, or November 15th, 2015. Hello everyone, thank you for being with us today. So as you may remember, when we launched the first time uh, Watch Dogs with the PS4, it was a major success. And that was really thanks to Sony and the push they did uh, have on this, uh, on this game. So Is today, it gonna be Sony I'm very stuff? happy to, to tell you that uh, yeah, we but how about the Wii U version? Sony, yeah, and Eve. we are going to do Watch Dogs 2 with them. So I would like to um, to ask uh, Tim. Um, Certainly, I would Sony explain why they were playing the, the PS4 version Thank during you. that demonstration. Thank you, Jim. Probably gonna be there. Be like some see, premium DLC. Like no, no, it's not. It's not Sony exclusive. It's on Xbox One as well. No, no, no. I mean, like, yeah, like DLC that comes out. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was trying to. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Like there's Sony. There's DLC or 
Mi missions that are exclusive Sony to Pictures Entertainment PS4. Up with Ubisoft Motion Pictures to produce a or Watch Dogs feature film with new Regency Productions. After what is shaping up to be an amazing Assassin's Creed film, oh, Watch Dogs oh, they're making a Watch Dogs movie? Sharks yeah. To be the next video Make a movie for everything, I guess, Ubi. Yeah. It's an incredibly filmic game. Yeah, it looks so cool. And yeah, we've heard that before, and they failed every time. As you know, Jim, it's it's never too early to think about who your lead uh, actor is going to be. So uh, I'm looking at the character, and I'm thinking Michael B. Jordan or a Tay Diggs or an Aisha Tyler, who is tall and yeah. black and <laughs> slightly masculine. That's what I'm thinking. You yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, can so talk about it backstage. I'll yeah. be waiting. <laughs> Quit stroking <laughs> um, your ego, Aisha. Very special to share with our PlayStation players out there, right? That's right. PlayStation owners will have access to all Watch Dogs 2 DLCs 30 days before they're released on any other platform. Wow. That's huh? incredible. That's incredible. Mm. That's a killer deal for the PlayStation. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Thank you yeah. so much, yeah. And now we're going to take one more good. look at the wild <laughs> hacker playground. All right. Okay, have a good, have a good mm. day. All right. Yeah. Mm. I'll keep watching, but mm. later, guys. Yeah. Right. This is probably almost over anyway, so. Uh, the San yeah. Francisco Bay. And then we get to take a break. Yeah. For about uh, four hours or so. Three, four hours. Uh, probably two and a half. Yeah. At least that's, that's how long I'm probably going to take a nap for. Yeah. And you're probably gonna food up too. Yeah, nap and food up is what I'm gonna do. I mean, you haven't eaten all day. No, actually, no, I ate before the uh, Ubisoft one. Oh, you had a little snack? Yes. That's why I went on break. Gotcha. Oh, but I still can't capture them. What do you mean, capture them? Like, stream them? Well, if you have an Xbox One, you, there's an app on there that can let you. There, there's, there's, a PS, there's a PS4 app as well. Yeah. Oh my PS god, the freaking smart car. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like his weapon. I can't wait for Sony. Yeah, Sony's gonna be a fun one to watch. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see that one again this year, though. <laughs> you got work. The most fit yeah. Hacker in the world. Yeah, I I, I sat up to miss Nintendo's live tomorrow. So. Yeah. I'm 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 honestly thinking we aren't gonna miss. You, if you're gonna miss Nintendo, you aren't gonna miss all that much. Nah. I mean, it's, sure there will be the Legend of Zelda, but they can only do so much for that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like I said, like I will probably watch it after the next day, and come on and be like, yeah, this is why we think about it. Blah blah blah. All right, folks, we have one more game to show you today. One more game. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Oh, I thought that was gonna end it. Okay. Oh, let this be beyond good and evil. Ladies and gentlemen, Eve Yimo. He's back again for the third time in this conference. Game to be announced for like years. So. <laughs> So I'm excited to tell you about our new IP. Oh, it's a, new man. Studio in the ah, it's a new IP. Mm, he already said new the IP. The studio has a lot of multiplayer expertise. You know, those guys have done Splinter Cell multiplayer. They have done also Assassin's Creed multiplayer, and they worked on the division on some part of the game. So for the first time, we are combining the thrill of action sports with a fully explorable open world. So this game will give you a chance to challenge your friends and to share your adventures with the community. It's a completely mm -hmm. sounds interesting. new genre and I am sure you will love it. Thank you. Sure they're made from game engine footage, okay. It's that moment where I've committed to leaving, but I haven't left the earth yet. Nothing you can do but charge forward. What I love the most in the mountains is that I can do anything I want. It's pure freedom. 
You know, there's always a bit of fear. If you don't have a little fear, you know, then you're a little crazy, I think. <laughs> Shorts. The game. Wait, no what if this is like a, a new a, a new version of Sean White's no snowboarding? No, it's going to be extreme the sports. Earth, everything else the game. It's pure adrenaline. Yeah, it could be Sean White because there's like skydiving. It's what I live for. And they do have the Sean White license. They said new IP go together, so it wouldn't be Sean White. Oh, is there FPS? Look. You on this game? Hmm. The mountain is. Guys, I think I need to go out and buy a GoPro. I don't know why. The most important thing for me is to try something that never been done before. Am I scared? Buy a drone. Sure. But Whoa. Give me a tour. Actually, GoPro too. No, I was joking because they had Go GoPro parafoils. Yeah. But it's like, what are you gonna fit with it? You need something to go with your GoPro. And the drone is the perfect complement. Although you can get a decent, um room with a camera on it for about eight hundred dollars. Steep. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm studio manager Rebecca Coutaz. And I'm creative director Igor Manso. We are from Ubisoft Dancy at the base of the Alps, just a few miles from the tallest peak in Europe. Le Mont Blanc. From our studio windows, we are surrounded by the mountains, and they have inspired us to develop the game that we are here to show you today. Up in these mountains, sport isn't always about winning. Far cry, Sometimes, cool borders. It's just about <laughs> doing awesome <laughs> things with your friends and living life to the fullest. And sometimes it's just about capturing those memorable moments and sharing them with your friends. Let's show some gameplay. Take it away, Igor. Thank you. Oh, they actually have gameplay too. Okay. Mm. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, I wasn't sold on the trailer. No, neither. Ah, I wasn't either. Was good. <sighs> let's let's see what the gameplay has to offer. Ooh, this looks like it's taken right from the start of the game. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the world of Steep, a massive open world partially set in the Alps at the intersection of Italy, Austria. Switzerland and France. We're currently flying over Aiguille du Mont Blanc, and in case you're wondering, Aiguille means needles. First thing we'll do is land on a small rock over there. Oh, we have notice a man on the right. Glitches. <laughs> walking up to the. No. The yeah, it's the community. probably it's not their video; it's the stream itself. So it's not actually the gameplay footage. I, I blame dead sex. Yeah. <laughs> no, blame Pele. From here. <laughs> Pele? Yeah, oh yeah, Pele. He broke E3 last year. Yeah, I remember the that. The big guy in front of you is a Mont Blanc. The we biggest all do. in the region. And in the distance, you can see the Matterhorn, one of the wildest spots in the game. And on the right, you've got the Aravis Ranch, the region we come from, where Ubisoft ANSI stands. In Steep, we developed a really cool observation tool. We call it Mountain View. Mountain View allows you to zoom out from your position. Ooh, that's pretty, the actually. <laughs> and navigate into the environment. Well, no, I think I'm actually going to step aside for now. Zones. This is putting me to sleep. Zones All right. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll be here for Sony later. Who knows? Nah. All right. <laughs> Slime. No, let's get back to back. our initial position. Besides drove zones, the game will offer a wide range of challenges for you to test your skills. Oh, okay, so you can switch the on the fly, okay. Yeah. It's and as the other player drops interesting. Through, I can't wait for glitches where you like take a jump and then or switch into a skydiving suit. This is a proximity flight. Like taking a jump on a ski. Challenge. There's no clip through a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait for them glitches. You don't clip in the mountain, the mountain clips into you. In this in real life, that would be insane. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it would. Oh my god, this in VR. 
that would be awesome, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> I think the main reason I would be getting this is because I'm, I'm afraid of heights and the whole... Yeah. This is the LB. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, oh. That, I'd be afraid oh. that would happen. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just secured the silver medal, and as we learned, we could choose we could choose to move uh, onto skiing in the Aiguille. But we'd like to introduce you to another region. So let's switch to Mountain View and head over to Aravis. Jeez, how big it's is this mountain? Interesting. It'll probably be a game I look at like for streams and stuff, of but not actually to show play you myself. What it's like to play online mm. with your friends or with other players from the community. Oh, so is this like online only game? Uh, that makes oh, sense. They are heavily focusing on multiplayer. Yeah, I, I, it's looking like it, it's like a like a massive open world game that's online only, mm. which makes which makes sense to do for this kind of game. As you ride, you will keep meet, uh, meeting other players from the community, having fun in the mountain. Let's switch I a point of view to the Oh, ride. there's a first person view. To oh. I like that, yeah. actually. Yeah, I like that. As I said. And they use GoPro, yeah, so they're sponsored by GoPro. I think something like this in VR. Yeah, like, this, <laughs> would, this would be this would work so much better for VR. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying the Eagle game looked that bad, but, you know. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, we really need to Something here. like this in time. VR. No, yeah. I to show you something special. If we go back to Mountain View, take keep a look at that Mountain trail. View, and I keep thinking like Every Google line you do in the world <laughs> Google Maps. And that trail is oh. really cool. That and the fact but they're located in Mountain you View, California. Mm, yeah. right, <laughs> so you can analyze your line, but it also allows you to that, launch a that's I'd be dizzy in that like first person. <laughs> yeah, after a while, yeah, for sure. That's that's my point. You're going to say the first time you said. You can rewind. Every time they. they I, says none of you, I thought you were going to say, Pulse, every time they say mountain view, the camera. it reminds me of like a town or something. Go slow-mo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Dude, was that Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chewbacca skydiving. <laughs> this has me excited. Oh. To all social networks. So I would like to see that in first fail. person view. <laughs> Even better. The epic fail. Not only can you share videos, from, like, but say you like that jump on the cliff. Stuff. You know it's a tricky one. Yeah, you can push love it to as see a challenge stuff. to your friends. Yeah. yeah. You the rule, share it so it becomes part of the content your friends will see in their game. But let's catch up with our red paraglider. The fuck? Okay. <laughs> you get costumes. That's interesting. Oh, I thought he was gonna crash into the tree. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he did. The and then he just did. Yeah. As I say that. He totally jinxed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There is one last thing I'd love to show you. Steep is definitely about sharing intense, thrilling, crazy, or just pure okay, fun. Okay, he moments. got his bell rang. Okay, and there. <laughs> yeah, the there you go. At least you see the church. Yeah. I have to say, it is very pretty.
interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're inviting you all onto the mountain as soon as tomorrow. Steep will be fully playable on the show floor. If you're watching from home, please visit steepgame.com to register And there's a beta for that to too. Cool. <laughs> in steep beta phase. All the betas. This game ships this December. Thank you very much. Oh, it comes up this year too. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. But how much is it going to cost? It's a we got a lot done Steve. today, and we Sorry. are barreling towards the finish line. But before we go, <laughs> we want to bring Ubisoft CEO Eve Guillemot and That's all back. of the teams behind the games that we had on stage during our show back out here one more time. Come on out, everybody. This is going to be like the end of Saturday Night Live, only all the game devs have not been drinking for hours. Although I'm sure they'll start very soon. Welcome, Eve. So, so, as you could see, you know, that was fantastic, a fantastic game. And I think it's just the beginning, because as you know, this game will be live for a long time. So those guys are going to give you a lot more. So I would like to thank you, all Ubisoft teams, and Aisha, <laughs> um, wow. uh, for their creativity and uh, all the passion they have. Um, I would like also to thank you all the gamers. We are only here because of you. We really love you guys, because you always push us for excellence. As Aisha said, this year Ubisoft celebrates our 30 years birthday. That means 30 years in the best industry in the world. Yeah, where is the giraffe? <laughs> yeah, where did he or go? any of those characters. <laughs> For that matter, the lion. The yell get credit. The ball head. I love video games because the real innovation and magic happens when our teams and players are free to create, free to innovate, free to express themselves, free to take risk and have fun. That's what got us here today, and that is what will drive us for another 30 years and beyond. Because when you are free, there is no failure. There is only forward. Ah, that's I think montage, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was it for that. <laughs> that was the uh, the Ubisoft uh, conference. That's pretty much pretty much covers it, I would say. This is just a ah, they had so quick there. But uh, yeah, that was basically it. Uh, definitely a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, for a conference that didn't have any of the Rabbids or the uh, or Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'd say it was okay. Um, once again, they this is a conference that I would say was pretty fun because once again, there were demos, there were trailers, and uh, I'm glad how much time they spent on um, on uh, South Park. I got I have to say, like, and I am shocked that actually that's coming out this year. Oh my lord, I I, I can't believe that that's actually coming out this year. I honestly thought that was next year for sure, but uh, no, we're getting it this year, so that is actually very, 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 very cool. And uh, I cannot wait to play uh, the next Southport game here on the channel, because a lot of people uh, really, really enjoyed me playing through that, and they definitely touched upon a lot of it. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, no, they're just uh, saying, yeah, what they're doing next. Okay, but yeah. But yeah, um... 
Very fun. Uh, Watch Dogs looks great. Uh, well, the second one that is. Not so much the first one. I think the, the second one blows the uh, the first one out of the water for sure. Um, I guess if you like uh, the Ghost Recon game. That's, I'm still not really bought into that. Same as The Division. I'm not into those kind of games. If you are, that's cool. But I'm not really much into them. Uh, I figured there would be a Just Dance game and they showed it. For Honor looks fun. <laughs> I mean, that game just... I like I like how the sword mechanics is, and it feels like every weapon in that game has a has weight to it, and that's great. <laughs> uh, I definitely get a Skyward Sword kind of vibe with it, We've, minus the motion controls, so that's really sweet. Um, <laughs> that one game with the um, what was it? The uh, I think it was the Trials game. That was uh, something, and I'm surprised. And that's actually coming out um, today, actually, right now. It's probably out right now because the conference has come to a close. So yeah, that's probably out right now as we speak. And, uh, yeah, uh, lots of bit, and then that snowboarding game, it looks cool. I mean, I like skiing. Uh, it would be something I, maybe I would be interested in, but, uh, I think it's kind of a disappointing, uh, last game. I think it should have been something a little, uh, well, actually, to be fair, it's something they, they're not really known for, honestly, so that's kind of a, it's different, but I think a lot of people are still, are really, 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 really wanting that beyond good and evil too, which I don't think ever will probably happen. I think that's, like, dead. <laughs> uh, I don't think Ubisoft will ever do anything about that game uh, for who knows how long, so... Maybe next year, but I don't know. It's starting to become, like, the next uh, Last Guardian will never show up <laughs> ever, ever, ever again until, like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Overall, I have to say, I actually really enjoyed it. The Ubisoft had a good conference. Very fun. Um... But at the most, I definitely would definitely give it a... I'd say I'd give it a B plus for sure. I, I think a B plus is good enough in my opinion. Um, I'm not really too much into the VR stuff I should have mentioned. So it's cool if you're into VR, but I'm not really into it. But, so I feel like they spent a little too much time on the VR. They should have just moved on with it. But yeah, they want to get they want to sell that VR because it's a new hot trend right now. So yeah, you might as well just try to sell it. Uh, dude, you can be a fucking bird. Yeah, that's true. You can be a bird. Good point. Good point. But yeah, it's it, it. I don't think VR is something I would be like super anticipated for. But if people are into it, that's cool. And then it's def definitely intrigues them a lot. That's for sure. I'm I'm not really caring for it as much. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, I like one of the games I wanted to see. Um, I actually uh, really liked what I saw because. These are games that are going to be played on the channel in a few months from now. And, uh, boy, ripping pasta my wallet. <laughs> Ubisoft. But the thing is, will any of these games get a downgrade in graphics? That's the one thing. That's the one controversial thing with Ubisoft. And the, probably the answer is yes, they will. The graphics will probably get downgraded. But to me, it's not about the graphics. It's all about the gameplay. As long as your game is fun to play, that's all that matters, really. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, overall, Ubisoft will end their, their conferences here with a B+. Oh yeah. <laughs>